Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm Stephanie West. I'm a licensed counselor here in the state of Michigan. Today I want to use a, a football analogy and they probably do this in a lot of sports, but I'm, you know, moderately sports illiterate, so I don't have all the verbiage here. But one of the things that uh, they do in football, at least as far as I'm aware, very consistently, if you want to be an ace player, they also do this in basketball too. Uh, but if you want to be an ace player, you not only do skills and drills and go out and practice, what do I want to do well next time? And you do it again and again and again. Often afterwards, you go to the locker room or you go to the hotel room or you go home and you watch the game tapes. Because not only do you practice what we want to do differently going forward, you look back at the history of what happened there. Maybe what did I do poorly, but also what did I do well? What moves me away from the outcomes I want? What moves me towards the outcomes I want? And some people will also go in and watch game tapes and um, history tapes from people who just do things really well. So watching the tapes is a really important um, way of growing in strength and understanding about what your skills are and what your deficits are. And I want to apply that to growing in relationship. I've used the analogy on my podcast before about having a postmortem after there's conflict, meaning going in and dissecting what went wrong here. How did we land there? If things went sideways, what was my part? What was your part? Where did we have the breakdown? And then the most important thing is what would we do differently next time? Having a postmortem matters, but another way of saying it is watching the game tapes. What did we do? How did we get there? If there was a loss, what contributed to it? If there was a win, what did we do that successfully brought us to completion? Watching the game tapes matters. When we have conflict and we could just kind of set it aside and move away and kind of move it right along, we are missing prime opportunity to cultivate our skills of good conflict resolution. We are uh, sacrificing and forfeiting our opportunity to look at our responsibilities, to learn how to love our significant others differently or our siblings differently or our friends differently, whoever we have the conflict with, our coworkers differently, um, whoever we're having the struggle with. If we refuse to watch the game tapes or we refuse to look at what went wrong, we are forfeiting relationship. So I want to invite you into that understanding. If you're in conflict, if you've recently had conflict, do some reflection. Even ask the person with whom you're in conflict, hey, what did you experience there? What did I do poorly? What did I do that was helpful? What would you like me to do in the future? Yes, skills and drills. We do that in therapy often. But typically with clients, I will also sit with them and say, hey, what happened there? What was your complicity? What could you do better next time? Why did it go the way that it went? If we're not willing to reflect, we're missing prime opportunity for growth.